Calaroga Shark Media. Hey there, fellow soup watchers. This is Journey Joe Mitchell, coming at you from the cozy confines of the TV basement. Today we're diving into episode seven of The Boys' fourth season. And folks, I've gotta be honest, I'm feeling a bit worn out. Now don't get me wrong, I love this show. I've been a fan since day one, but this season, it feels like it's lost its way a bit. Episode seven, The Insider, is just the latest example of a trend I've been noticing all season long. Let's start with the positives. Anthony Starr continues to be absolutely brilliant as Homelander. That scene where he cries over A-Train's betrayal, chilling stuff. And when he rips Web Weaver in half after all that web farting, it's classic boy's grossness. But here's the thing. We're not getting enough Homelander this season. He's the show's MVP, and it feels like he's being sidelined for other, less interesting plot lines. Speaking of which, can we talk about all the shock value scenes this season? Look, I get it. The boys has always pushed boundaries. But this season, it feels like they're just trying to one-up themselves with each episode. We've had the Tech Knight dungeon, the Octopus Love Triangle, and now this shapeshifter ripping off their own skin. It's all well and good, but at a certain point, you become numb to it. It's shock for shock's sake, and it's not moving the story forward. And that's really the crux of the issue here. What is this season actually about? It feels like we're just spinning our wheels, waiting for some big finale that may or may not pay off. The political satire, which used to be sharp and biting, now feels heavy-handed and obvious. We get it. Homelander is a Trump analog. Do we need to keep hammering that point home? Now, there are some bright spots. A-Train's redemption arc is interesting, even if it feels a bit rushed. And Ryan's speech during the Christmas special was a nice moment. But these feel like small islands in a sea of meandering plot lines and gratuitous gore. I'm worried, folks. We've only got one episode left this season, and I'm not sure how they're going to tie all this together. Will the big insurrection plot pay off? Will the soup-killing virus come into play? And most importantly, will we finally get the Homelander-centric episode we deserve? Don't get me wrong, I'm still going to watch. I'm invested. But I can't help feeling like The Boys has lost some of its magic this season. It's become the very thing it used to satirize, all flash and no substance. So what do you think, fellow basement dwellers? Am I being too harsh? Has The Boys lost its way or am I just suffering from shock fatigue? Until next time, keep your expectations low and your hazmat suits ready. This is Journey Joe Mitchell signing off from the TV basement.